Hello, this is a demonstration and assembly of the BLR Plus 10 magazine extension floor plate. I think I got that right. Basically, in the, uh, in the factory BLR magazine, you have the magazine body, the follower and spring that are all one piece, and the floor plate. Um, that's the basic assembly of the BLR factory mag. You can see this one here is caliber 308. Here is a, uh, a modified Set Me G3 or PTR magazine in 308 or 762 by 51. That's been cut off and an adapter spot welded to it to allow us to attach this to the BLR magazine. What that looks like, uh, first we are going to install this little uh, buffer, you might call it. That's going to clip on over here. Just a little bit of force to get that to snap. That's going to allow this to sit squarely inside of the magazine extension. Next we're going to take this. This has a little tab on there so that it can only be installed from the rear of the factory mag. Goes in like that and it is a little tight. This one's been assembled and disassembled several times so I got that in all the way. It's totally seated. It does hang over the back of the magazine just a little bit because of the dimensional differences between the G3 and the, uh, the BLR magazine. One thing you'll notice that's great about the G3 mag is this reinforcement rib lines up perfectly with the notch in the follower. So we're good to go there. Next we have a G3 uh, magazine spring that's been cut off, a couple coils cut off the top. This will um, attach to the BLR magazine like so, just allowing it to lock together. And then the whole thing gets stuff up inside the magazine. Now that we're here, um, we have the G3 magazine, that, or I'm sorry, floor plate. This is going to go on and a little tight there. This is a, a surplus magazine that may or may not have some exact fitness issues, but there we have everything tied in the spot or put in the put into place tightly. When you do this, you will no longer need your um, your factory floor plate. However, I suggest keeping it because everything that's done here is reversible and does not commonly cause any permanent changes or modifications to the magazine. Let's try to run some rounds here. We have typical, these are uh, lots of box inside, but LA-2A um, surplus rounds. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. You can actually fit a fifteenth into here. Um, however, it does make the magazine insertion into the rifle and the first cycle of the action extremely difficult. So I use it and I'm calling it a plus 10 magazine. So there's four in the original plus 10 and let's see how it cycles. Okay, here we have the magazine we just loaded with 14 rounds. You can see that it uh, locks into the rifle just fine. I do have to run the action a little more aggressively than normal just for the first three rounds. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here's a closer look at the magazine and extension floor plate uh, fitment up together. You can see how the extension grabs the rails on the BLR magazine, just like the factory floor plate does. Um, it's not a perfect fit. You can see there's a tiny little gap there. This has a tiny little gap and there's that little tab that limits the forward movement of the floor plate extension. Um, however, we're using the factory follower and spring and feed lips from the magazine. So everything for feeding should be quite the same as it is from the factory magazine. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.